once you have said ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wa ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah the first pillar of islam once you have accepted islam is the mindset and the understanding that only allah azza wa jal can give you something that only allah azza wa jal can take something away from you that only allah azza wa jal if you fear people only him can decide if these people can take something away from you or if these people can hurt you or if these people will prevent you from achieving your goals that only allah azza wa jal can make something that's difficult easy for you that only allah azza wa jal will give you a solution when you face a problem in the goal that you are trying to achieve that only Allah Azza wa Jal will give you strength and energy when you feel weak. That only Allah Azza wa Jal will give you the power to stop procrastinating if you want to start chasing a particular goal. This is a thing that you need to embody, that it needs to be become automatic. Just as how automatic it is when somebody tells you, put your hand in this fire the same way how automatic it is for your system your body to understand that if you put your hand in that fire you will get burned the same way your body and your system needs to understand that only allah have full power over everything over even the leaf when falling from a tree this leaf is only falling from this tree because Allah allowed it. Everything goes by him and he decides if that thing is happening or not. He has full superior, superiority, full power, full authority over every insignificant, insignificant thing happening in this universe.